And here goes another one. Garth Brooks is now being accused of assault. Assault of a woman. Okay. And this woman is not just any woman. This woman is actually someone who has been his wife, Trisha Yearwood's makeup artist since 1999. Yes. We are talking about someone who has literally been in his wife's life for 25 years. And then for the past, what, um, I think maybe five years, she's been doing work for him as well. This is insane. Okay. So it's not just Diddy now. Now we've got Garth Brooks. I also did a short that talked about how AJ from 106 and Park was accused by multiple women some years ago. I mean, the fact that this is so rampant in the entertainment industry is sickening. Now, of course, right now, these are just allegations, right? Nothing has been proven yet, but he knew that these allegations were out there because he had actually filed a lawsuit against her anonymously last month to try to get a judge to say that she could not talk about this publicly at all or make the allegations publicly. This is a wild one, guys. Let's get into it. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Reality Check with Jess. If you are new here, please make sure that you like and subscribe and ring that bell. That way you can stay up to date whenever I post new videos. Uh, definitely hitting that like button helps me out a lot because it allows me to get my videos in front of more people. So it's free. Click it. And I appreciate it. And also, uh, please make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell because that will allow you to get notifications whenever I post new videos. And as always, I have my cash app below. Torah blessed if you are able and willing to donate. Let's get into this one. This is wild. This is really, really wild because I don't feel like we hear as much. Well, everything's been so focused right now on Diddy, right? That now to hear this coming from Garth Brooks, Garth Brooks is huge. Okay. Huge. You don't even have to listen to country music to know who he is, right? Like he is the guy and he trust me he has been for what like 30 years or so i mean definitely at least um 25 years you know what i mean garth brooks has been it like he's very well known he's respected people love him people love his music he is a fixture in country music and like i said he's so big that people know who he is even outside of the country realm even if you don't know his music you know his name, and you probably also know what he looks like. Well, now these allegations are against him. Like I said, this is wild. Um, let's get into this. So I'm actually put in my bigger screen. Let me make sure that I have this up for you guys. I want to be able to have you go along with it. And let me make this a bit bigger. So according to the lawsuit filed Thursday in California Superior Court, the assault occurred after the two traveled alone together on Brooks' private jet. And the suit says that when they arrived at a hotel in Los Angeles, they keep saying Roe because they're not um, using her name, could not believe that Brooks had booked a hotel suite with one bedroom and she did not have a separate room. And then she said he was in the doorway completely, you know, buck naked basically, and that she felt trapped alone in that room with him. And she began to panic and he grabbed her hands, pulled her in next into the next room and onto the bed where she couldn't escape him. Um, she said it was painful and traumatic and that at one time he held her body upside down. Like, <sighs> wow, wow. Um, but Garth Brooks is saying that she's extorting him. He's saying that, oh, she extorted him, you know, to write a check for millions of dollars. And that if he didn't, she would threaten to, you know, expose him and, and say this stuff. And that it's really just hush money, right? That's what he's saying is that it is extortion. And that's why he anonymously filed a lawsuit the previous month to get her to not say anything. Um, 
He said, well, this woman says in the lawsuit that after that happened, the assault, that he continued to tell her his fantasies and that he wanted to, you know, basically have a threesome with her and his wife, uh, who is Trisha Yearwood, right? <laughs> Another fixture uh, in music, especially country music. Um and that he exposed himself to her, would change in front of her, send her uh, explicit text. Now, here's the thing. If he was sending her explicit text and this goes to court, that's going to be exposed. And then that's going to make him look like a big fat liar. So she's saying that and she saved those, which maybe she didn't, even if he did send them, right? That's going to be a really big deal. And it's going to make it look like that she has more credibility than he does. So according to the lawsuit, she was at his home for work in 2019, and that's when he walked out of the shower, no clothes, grabbed her hands, forced them onto his private while telling her he fantasized about her, you know, going down on him. And then in 2019, he um, he also had hired her to do his makeup and hair in, in Los Angeles. And that's when she went to his room to do the makeup and hair. And he was on the bed face down wearing loose shorts and holding his crotch and made it clear uh, that he wanted to do what he had done before in L.A. earlier that year. And she managed to escape that situation. And during a phone conversation in 2020, uh, he told her, well, she told him that she was frightened of him. And that uh, he told her to, you know, work together forever, right? And after her attorneys reached out to tell him that she was prepared to file a lawsuit over it, um, he instead beat her to the punch and filed a lawsuit against her um, to basically, like I said, try to get a judge to put a gag order on her. And yeah, I mean, this is just, this is insane. And this went all the way down, but... This is not pointing to the fact that she had worked with his wife for years. Okay. Let me find where, um, let's see, because I know CNN actually had that on there. Let me find it for you guys, because I want you to see this. I think this is important background information. So she began doing his hair and makeup in 2017 right? And she states that she was first hired to do hair and makeup for his wife in 1999. So if this is someone who has been working with them for years, to me, there's a likelihood of some credibility there. Because why would she, after 25 years of working with this person and their family, all of a sudden, say these things. I'm not saying that can't happen, right? Because we don't know. None of us were there. None of us were in the room. None of us were on the phones, reading the text, any of that. But it makes you wonder, this is not like some random person who he hired and now has just decided to extort him. I mean, they've had 25 years of work with these people. So what would make her lie? You know, which is why I think she may not be lying. I think she could be telling the truth. And it's sad. It's really sad if this, you know, if this is what really happened to her. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And I'll speak to you on the next one.